the top dog, I know these niggas all on my position. Cause I'm putting up numbers like a statistician. The king back like LeBron when he returned to Cleveland. Time to spread the bag around, make sure we all eating. Hurt some niggas, think they got us, guess we all eating. Greetings, everyone. Thanks again, once again, for tuning in to Porch Talk. I need to do a dumbass edition. That's right, you heard me, a dumbass edition. Because people are still doing dumb shit, knowing that everybody has a camera phone. And look, I got a little cat walking across my front lawn. Anyhow, these cats be off the hook. I don't know if y'all know, but one was trapped in my garage, and my husband let it free. Yeah, they be clowning. So, I guess this host for this Airbnb is going back and forth with some black guys. And they're basically letting her know that it was five people. She said it's four. And then she turned around and said, which one of the monkeys is going to sleep on the couch? Lady, lady, the, your dumb ass is on the shade room. Everybody's looking at you being retarded. Oh, we can't say that word. Fuck that. I said it. Everybody's watching you. Are you serious? There's not nobody you got. They're giving out smartphones to people with EBT cards. You got people in the grocery store sitting there. You can get a phone. For real. I mean, everybody has a camera everywhere. Cameras are everywhere. And you decide to mess up like that. Mm -mm. You deserve every bit that's coming to you, honey, because you got to use your brain. You got to have sense. People are waiting to catch you slipping on some dumb shit. And you, my dear, have been caught. So this Catholic school principal gets arrested at a Washington DC strip club while he was on a school field trip I guess they got a call about this drunk man not wanting to pay his bill and so of course he didn't want to be found like that but I mean come on sir you couldn't go on ahead and visit that strip club after the field trip was it that serious and did you have to get toe up like that and and be acting a fool what is going on here you got that intoxicated? You don't want to pay your bill? Sir, them drinks ain't free and none of them hoes on the stage getting naked is free. They're not dancing for their, because that's what they want to do and they have nothing better else to do. They're doing it for money. Now, if you didn't want to pay for the drink, you sure didn't want to pay for the hoes. What's wrong with you? Yep, you got caught. They say with your pants down, don't even sound like maybe you didn't have your pants down, but you got your ass caught though. You can't be out here acting a fool in strip clubs. You're supposed to be somewhere else like with the students that you're getting paid for i mean come on what is going on return it oops can't use that word i did but i can tell you this damn much i don't walk around calling special needs people retarded so you can rest your head on that sierra expressed how she loves being a harvard student and enjoying her classmates and doing her thing i'm happy for her. these celebs are just showing their human side you need to get your education and stuff like that but you know i wish they would band together and fight against this student loan debt this shit is ridiculous it's piling up like stinking ass trash on the east side of detroit and the thing about it is People don't want to pay that shit because they're not getting shit out of it. And there needs to be a mandatory requirement. You get my money, I get a return on it. If, you, if I don't get a return on it, then you don't get my money. And I think that's fair, right? I mean, because you pay for a service. And what service am I paying for? Because I'm doing the work. So what are you giving me here? A piece of paper? How much does a piece of damn paper cost? Get the most expensive, thickest paper at FedEx, copy and print place, and you tell me how much it costs. Because I'm damn sure it's not 50 grand, 60 grand, 70 grand, 80 grand, 100 grand, need I say more or go any further. So I just wish y'all would do that. But congrats to Sierra, I'm proud of her and happy for her as well. R. Kelly, boy, he stay in the bullshit, don't he? I'm talking about bullshit finds him. I think it comes out to seek him. I really believe there is some unknown presence called bullshit. And it wears a cloak. It wears a Grim Reaper cloak. And right now it resides outside of wherever the fuck R. Kelly is at. Because it finds him. He's got a former employee saying that there are more child sex tapes. This is what this person told. The employee told the grand jury. Of course, you knew this. The tapes include sexual encounters with minors. You don't say. Should we been knowing? Should we been knowing that he's been pissing on little girls? We seen that tape when we was kids. I don't know why and I don't know how, but I know I saw it. That's all that matters. It's very inappropriate. Jay-Z is actually the first hip-hop artist to become a billionaire. There is no shocker there. They make very intelligent money moves. They're good with managing their money, which we all should be. But, um... I'm proud of him. I'm happy for him. That's a good thing. 
Jay-Z is not just a rap artist, though. He has other investments as well. So you got to do that. You know, you've got to have more than one trick. You can't just be a one-trick pony. you got to have some other stuff going on because nothing is promised out here. Things are forever changing. So you have to be able to adjust with the times. Well, that's all for today. Thanks again once again for tuning in to Porch Talk. I'm going to catch you guys next time. Bye. Make sure you choose Rocky Road Productions LLC Porch Talk to feed your entertainment needs. And you can do that by following us on Facebook, Instagram. Make sure you like this video and share it with all your family and friends. Tag somebody in it, why don't you? And don't forget to comment down below and let us know how you feel. And before you leave, make sure you subscribe. That's right, you'll catch us every week. Looking forward to see you again next time. Bye.